This is the best defense to use in Madden 24. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride, but I drive it. It shuts down the run. I shut them down. Shut them down. Shut them down. It's instant sack. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. And interceptions all game. So if you want to see a brand new defense I'm using to get results like this, got it. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor at MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my brand new 49ers offensive ebook and my Las Vegas Raiders defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help, you can instantly download these or any of my ebooks simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. And I'll be using the Atlanta Falcons once again just to remind everyone that it doesn't matter what team you use and there's no such thing as a bad team in Madden. Just slow teams or bad quarterbacks, which this team does have. And hot doo doo! Water. And on defense, they're also kind of slow as they have three 80 plus overall linemen where all their speeds are 70 or lower. The linebacker, though, they at least have one really fast player in Troy Anderson who's a 91 speed, but that's it. So they really don't have the type of speed that I would like to use for my 3 4 odds game. But they do have one of the best secondaries in the game with a stud cornerback in AJ Terrell and a stud safety in Jesse Bates. And they also have a lot of plus 90 speed cornerbacks and safeties, making this the perfect secondary for the defense I'm going to show you guys today. My first game is against the new number one seed in the AFC and the Baltimore Ravens thanks to the Philadelphia Eagles last night. And if you caught yesterday's video, you'll know that I called it. As I said, the Eagles win by four and it would come down to a late stop by the Eagles defense. So you know I'm going to have to use my birds again soon to celebrate. But before I do, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please Woo! make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel and I appreciate the support. The defense I'm going to be using today is once again my big nickel over G, but I'll be showing you guys several new plays out of it. I already made a full practice mode style breakdown of this defense as well. So if you guys want to see more, I'll have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. Video, so stick around for that. The plays that I'll be focusing on are part of the SS Blitz series, as there are several defenses in this formation that bring the safety down and blitz them off the edge after the snap. With my favorite coverages being the very aggressive pinch blitz, but I also like to use the weak safety blitz one and the weak safety blitz three, as they both look like pre-snap and are very confusing for most opponents. I also like to mix in some zone plays as well with the SS Blitz three and my favorite defense in the entire game, the cover six trap, as these defenses will cover more like man coverages if you set your coaching adjustments properly. For my coaching adjustments, the most important ones are to set your zone defense to match, as this will ensure the zone coverage follow the receivers better, and you will also want to set your auto alignment to base so that every play looks the same pre-snap, making it harder for your opponent to prepare for the play. Now, I make it look as if I set all this up at the start of the game, but that's only for presentation purposes. The reality is the first drive on defense is usually the hardest, because you rarely have enough time to get all these things set before the red clock starts ticking down. So I usually do all my coaching adjustments first as I find these are the most important. After that, I just choose one play and hope that my opponent doesn't run a hurry up right away to keep me stuck in it, which a lot of players do. So I call the cover six as this play is always very confusing for most players and also doesn't require any adjustments. And as long as I have my coaching adjustments set, it plays lights out, allowing me enough time to set up at least half of my audible plays this time. And quickly choosing the weak safety blitz one on the very next play. I think about changing back to the cover six again, and he quick hikes me before I can get set or even man a line to get my linebacker out on his best player. And he gets a huge play to get out of bounds in scoring range already before I even finish setting up my audible plays or even made substitutions yet. My point is, EA needs to either give players a window to set up these adjustments before the game, or find a way that these carry over game to game, as I might have already basically given up a field goal before I even had my defense set up properly to my scheme. I finally get my four play audible set and switch to my new favorite man zero play the pinch blitz now i've already shown a lot of defenses before where the box safety here blitzes and they're still very good blitzes but when this safety walks down to come off the other side it takes this concept to a whole new level for one it's immediately a better run defense as i now have outside edge containment on both sides of the line of scrimmage which you only really get when the safety walks down i also prefer the setup when blitzing because there really isn't one you can pinch the defensive line for run defense but the safety will walk back making you have to readjust them so i find it's best just to leave it alone as all you really have to do is use your whoever is covering the running back, put them on a blitz, and hover the center pre snap to help the edge rushers get in unblocked before dropping back into coverage. If the running back goes out on a route, I gotta follow him because he has my responsibility. But on the next play, I drop over the middle instead, and I probably should have had a pick right there, as I usually put safeties at these linebacker spots so that I have more mobility. 
now almost inside the red zone already, I finally get to finish setting up my defense and do my substitutions. As I usually want to put at least my 91 speed linebacker in Troy Anderson in the spot that I was using, and a backup safety in the other for better pass defense. He runs it on the next play against my cover zero to get the first down before I decide to switch to the SS Blitz 3 to give him a new look. Gotcha, bitch! And we get an interception on the very next play. I guess it makes a big difference when you finally get everything set up properly, yeah? On offense, I want to begin using my I form close scheme as this offense allows me to focus on the running back and let Desmond Ritter do what he does best, hand the ball off. But I'm going to be focusing mostly on defense in this video. I already made a full breakdown of this offense though and several gameplays, so if you guys want to see more, I will once again have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video, so stick around for that. I only get two yards on the first play, so I have to pass on the second play to get back on schedule. And my opponent is playing with a packed box, so I motion the fullback out to get to the edge and get a very big row on the next play. I tried to run it again on the next play, but he shuts me down, but it looks like he was in a cover too, so I call a hurry up to keep him in it, and sure enough, I see the cornerbacks are five yards off the line of scrimmage, so I switch to the PA tight end leak, put the fullback on a wheel and motion him out so that the post route can split the safeties. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> but I throw it just a little bit early to get inside the five before I motion my tight end across instead of a wall of blockers that I easily get around for the score. Do it. Back on defense, we choose the weak safety blitz one and you can see how this extra box safety helps out in run defense. <laughs> Sit your ass down. Before I go back to zero on third and ten, and Mark Andrews is his only offense at this point, so I'm going to make another substitution by replacing all-world safety Jesse Bates with a backup cornerback and putting him in the box at linebacker in hopes that he will match up with him more often and shut him down, just like Kevin Byer did Jason Kelsey last night. Did you see that shit? I picked the pinch blitz again and see that he is covering the running back, but we're getting closer as he tries to throw a deep only to get picked by a very athletic former top five pick in Jeff Akuda before quitting the game. See ya! In my next game, I play another top AFC team in the Cincinnati Bengals. I don't get time to set up my defense in this game either, as I elect to set up my coaching adjustments first once again. Gotcha, bitch! And I get a pick six on the very first play from a linebacker that I usually bench. Who says linebackers don't make plays, huh? I get my audible play set up before the next play and call the pinch blitz, and the safety doesn't even get down to the line of scrimmage before the snap, and he still makes the play. Woo! He takes the check down on third and short on the next play before I put on an absolute tackling clinic. Oops. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through special needs. To let him tie the game. Or not. On offense, I go back to the I form close and I read cover zero right away, so I switch back to the PA tight end leak and take a shot, but the blitz was too fast. Nope. He probably felt like that play was a success though, so he runs it again on the next play, and I match the try again as well. Fire you! Only this time we get the throw away and Scotty is gone. You think that's funny? I don't you laughing now! And I decided to go for two to make it a two possession lead. Fuck you! On defense, I call the weak safety blitz one, and he runs a play full of man beaters with zigs and slants, so I have to switch it up. I come out and cover three on the next play before changing my mind and switching back to zero, as I just can't help my aggressive nature sometimes. I finally switch to the cover six on the next play. Gotcha, bitch! And I might have had a touchdown if the computer didn't register my catch as an attempt at a jump. On offense, I'm still seeing a lot of cover zero, so I try to take a shot again, but this isn't Patrick Mahomes here, as Desmond Ritter overthrows it on the next three plays to get into a fourth and ten so i switch offenses to the gun split close and choose the niners halfback rail and i take an easy check down to keep the drive alive before hitting a corner route to get inside the red zone from here i use a screen pass to get inside the five before the drive completely comes off the rails as i get pushed back on the next play and throw an interception to a check down end to drive <laughs> But this is a defense video anyway, as we call the cover one blitz one more time and follow the drag route to get the user lurk for a pick six with 91 speed Troy Anderson. I love this guy. Went back on defense, I switched to the weak safety blitz through in the next play. A week ago. Woo! As we get an instant sack from half of the defense, I pick cover three again on the next play, and I guess he thought he was going to get another miraculous run. How about new? As we pick cover three on every play of this drive to shut him down and push him all the way back to his own goal line, he looks like he's going to punt away before running a fake on fourth and 20. And he either called the wrong play, thinking that he had an option to pass, or he really thought that he could die for 20 yards with his defensive end in Hubbard. <laughs> before rage quitting the end of the game. 
So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more about the offenses or defenses I was using in today's gameplay, I'll try to have them all popping up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.